Wark Johnson, your lineup one through six. Starter lights are dark. Out of three into four. Fire at the cone. Beckon leads the pack out of turn two in the 70X. Our heat race winner looking strong out front. Now hang on. Luke Schultz hard in the concrete. Exiting turn three in the 96. Put too much Yellow mechanical light. strain on that drive system. But we're back under green. And now heavy smoke coming from the rear of the Schultz hot rod. Hang on your leader, Kurt Beckin. Crossed up in front of the field. Kurt Mike Beck Lewis gonna take over the point. Remington and Johnson in row two. Wark Beckin, your final two runners. And Johnson trying to go around the outside of Loomis, gets caught up in the marbles. Drifts back a few car lengths in the one junior. Now Loomis upstairs. Johnson downstairs. Johnson flashing from center to the inside of Loomis, but nothing doing. Mike Lewis still your leader in the 17. Johnson, a great run out of turn two. Gonna drift up in front of Loomis. Slide job successful in turn four. We've got a new leader. Tim Johnson in the one junior. Lewis, Remington, Wark, and Beckett. The rest of the field. Johnson and Lewis running upstairs. Wark and Remington trying the low groove in the battle for third. Now Remington going to climb the ladder in the 57. Will he stay upstairs? In fact, he does join the leaders in that high line while the 24W of Wark continues to work that lower groove. And so far that strategy has paid off for Wark as he is up to third, but he still has not dispatched the 57 of Remington. Tim Johnson trying to run away and hide from the field. And the one junior. Can he go two for two and set himself up for a three for three run in the one junior? Two thirds of a straightaway, the differential between Mike Loomis and the 17. And your leader, the one junior of Tim Johnson. Best battle on the track continues to be for third. The 57 of John Remington working the middle high groove. Chris Wark in the 24W working downstairs. Now Remington going to drop down to that low groove to see if he can't make some hay in the battle for third down low. Wark has found some traction and some speed in the 24W. Look out. Mike Loomis in the 17. Chris Wart is coming on strong, springing to life here in the 24W. Wart has left the 57 of Remington as quickly reeling in the 17 of Loomis. Johnson continues to dominate. Way out front, more than a straightaway. Now Loomis jumps the cushion. That's going to cost him even more. Wart right there and ready to pounce now in the 24W. Johnson a bit of a hiccup that time through turns three and four. We well, used to have a hot and heavy battle for third. Now it's the battle for the runner-up position. Chris Wark in the 24W continues to work low. Mike Loomis continues to push off the cushion and hang on. Wark loops it in the middle of turns three and four. Suddenly that traction he had discovered down low. Quickly uh, Tim Johnson looks to have this one in hand. 
and the one junior. A little bit squirrely out of two is Johnson. Johnson absolutely not taking it easy, still pushing to its limits, the one junior. Once again, tightest battle on the track happening far behind the leader. Wark and Remington swapping lines now, this time through turns three and four. Work going back to what had served him well earlier. Down low and quickly reels in the 17 of Loomis. Field once again now, starting to stretch out. Loomis and your leader, Tim Johnson, running the high groove. Wharf and Remington running third and fourth. Middle, low, and low grooves around the speedway. There's the dual flags. We've hit the half mile mark. Two laps, eight left hand turns. Now seven, now six more left hand turns for your leader, the one junior of Tim Johnson. Johnson takes the white flag. Amelia straight away in front of the 17 of Lewis. Wart, Remington, Beckon. Still four or two through five. But taking up the win and the checkered flag. Impressive run for the one junior of Tim Johnson. Two feature races and he's got himself two trophies. He's got one more race left to go, folks. Can he make it three for three?